Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look a little closer at enterprise project types and project detail pages under the notion of proposals and demand management. Let's look at a couple concepts here. Demand management allows for a centralized location to capture work requests and proposals and gives decision makers the opportunity to approve, reject, and track project requests. EPTs, or enterprise project types, govern the project lifecycle and are most often aligned with business units and departments. PDPs, or project detail pages, are simply SharePoint web part pages that display important project information and they are used to drive the project lifecycle. Workflow is essentially the automation of this lifecycle. Workflow allows for events to be triggered, such as approving a project request or updating the attribute of a custom field. Organizations can also leverage SharePoint Designer in Visio to help with developing these workflows. Let's first go behind the scenes and understand where and how to manage these specific areas within PWA. We'll start by going to the settings area and click on PWA settings. And what we want to do in this first section is just simply look at an existing enterprise project type. And let's talk about the different configuration settings there. So under workflow and project detail pages is the option enterprise project types. Let's go ahead and click on that. Now here you'll notice that we have a list of enterprise project types, including an additional one that we've added to this instance, this O365 PPM PM. What you will see out of the box will be the SharePoint task list and the enterprise project. And we worked with both of these in the previous section. Here we want to just simply look at the details of this first EPT called enterprise project. And I'll go ahead and click on it there. When we go into the Enterprise Project EPT, you'll notice a couple very specific settings related to, as I scroll down here first, of course, is going to be the name and the description. And then below that, you'll notice there's some project ID information. There's a prefix, there's even a starting number, so you can manipulate these as necessary. You also notice that there's a digit padding and there's a postfix as well within these configuration settings. You'll also notice this is where you can set up an enterprise project type as a SharePoint task list. And we talked about the difference between a SharePoint task list and an enterprise project in one of our other sessions. Below that, you'll notice that there's a workflow association. So when you are deploying workflow against PWA, you will find them available here. And we have a separate title that specifically addresses working with workflow with Project Server and Project Online. When you do have a workflow association, then this lower section right below that workflow area will be gone because the workflow is what's driving the display in the interaction with the pages. When you're not using workflow, you will then determine as you administer and manage this particular EPT, which pages are going to be displayed in the enterprise project type. And in this case, you'll notice that there are some new custom project detail pages that have been added to this instance. You will see something slightly different and based on you know, your configuration settings, you may have some additional pages in here, some, definitely some pages with some different names. But project information, schedule, project details, and strategic impact are pages that you would be given just simply out of the box. So it's really just a matter of selecting that particular project detail page and pushing it to the right hand side. And then once you're in here, you can move these up and down and manage them. We'll talk about creating project detail pages um, here in a moment. Then as I scroll down, I can determine what is the default project type and if this is the one, and in fact it is, 
the default setting and it's telling us that if we want to set a different enterprise project type then you have to go into that and basically set it as the default. You'll notice below that that you can departmentalize these enterprise project types and that's very helpful in terms of not showing particular EPTs that aren't relevant for a user that isn't in that department in this particular case. So it's a great way to filter out certain areas of the tool. Then you have the ability to upload and manage an icon mm -hmm. that's associated to the EPT, which I always think is a great idea because it gives a little bit of that branding um, into the tool. Then below that, you notice that there's an order settings. So you can determine just simply how the order is displayed within the dropdown. And then a very important part of working with enterprise project types is the ability to associate templates to the EPT. So this can be quite useful when you start working with enterprise project types in that when the user, when the project manager initiates a new project, there is a scheduled template already associated to that EPT. We'll learn, and you've already learned in the previous section, how you can save those templates. And once the template has been saved, you can then associate it to the EPT. You'll also notice that there is a site template association. And when I click on this dropdown, it's basically just a list of the, of the uh, available language packs um, that are available for the tool. And I'll just simply click away from that. So when we talk about site management, we'll get into site templates, but this is where you would associate that site template to the actual EPT. And I didn't make any changes here, so I'll just simply cancel out of that. We really just wanted to get an overview of that particular area. Hey guys, thanks for checking out our videos. Um, please subscribe to get updates on Project, Project Online, the new project for web and other interesting and fun topics. So look forward to seeing you and we'll be pushing some more videos up. So subscribe and check out the next video.